we're here at Laterno, and what was the process, or what made you want to pursue being a collegiate athlete? Man, I just, uh, ever since as long as I can remember, I've just loved to play baseball, and just having an opportunity to go somewhere that I can develop and grow in my faith, and be surrounded by like-minded individuals, and pursue Christ with a great education while playing the sport that I love. It's just, this was the best of all three of those worlds, so just saw Laterno as a good fit, and just ran with it. Yeah, I actually, um, whenever I was applying, I didn't know much about Letourneau, but that was one thing is I did want to pursue God in my um, walk. And um, I actually wanted to become an engineer at the time. And I knew or Letourneau was known for its engineering. And so I kind of just prayed about it and doors opened and doors closed. And that's kind of just how it came. And um, I had played tennis all my life. And so once, you know, I kind of got the opportunity, I just hopped on it and uh, tried out and started playing for the tennis team. Going on that same track of some of the struggles we do, because I feel like that's really important, just being a student and an athlete. Was there a time where y'all felt like, you know, you had a mental block or a little slump in your thing and just that kind of really affected your well-being and your health when it comes to like sports where, you know, at a point, like, you thought about quitting. I've really, like, valued track in the um, aspect of track, uh, especially with the people here at Letourneau. Um, our track team on the men's and women's side have a very good Christian culture. Um, and so I, track is a very, very difficult sport uh, mentally. Um, running and pushing your body to its limits is very, very hard. But... Um, the reward at the end is so much bigger than anything. And so that's what's like kept me going is just that there's, there is another side to it and that it's just all going to be good. What is something that God has taught you during the time, you know, being an athlete, but also being, you know, a student as well. Uh, for me, uh, just not idolizing the sport, using it as a means to enjoy what God has created and worship Him through that and pursuing excellence in the sport, um, building that community of Christ-like believers within your team, the other sports here, and all the other students here at Letourneau. Um, just building a community and just pursuing Christ together, um, whether it's in the classroom or on the field, and uh, just not idolizing the things around it, but in just enjoying what God has given us and what He's created. Yeah, prior to coming to Letourneau, um, I was, I would say I was a lukewarm Christian. Um, so track was like my main priority. Um, I put it first in everything in my life. Um, and I didn't really see like why I was doing the sport, like who I was doing it for. And so coming to Letourneau, it's really changed my perspective of why I do track. And uh, the last semester and the fall semester, I was running and I wasn't like falling out of love for track, but I realized that God became my number one and track was second. And that has made such an impact on my performance and my practice and everything that I do. How is it being less of an athlete and more of a student here at Letourneau? I love being a student here at Letourneau. So actually prior to being here, I was at a junior college and the culture here, I just compare it to that because that's what I know. But the culture here is so different. Like it's, I didn't know a college could be like that. I didn't know that a, a college could be so like welcoming and have a culture that's absolutely centered around Christ. Like it's absolutely amazing. And it helps me in my everyday life. Like I love coming to Letourneau and being able to worship God and learn about God in my business classes. Like how cool is that? You don't get that anywhere else. How, how do y'all like cope with the pressure? Do y'all love the pressure? I mean, do you hate it? Or what is like that thing of like, yeah, I want more of that, you know? I kind of have a saying is like failure is okay. Um, God didn't make us to be perfect. So kind of helps relieve pressure whenever, you know, you're putting a ton of pressure on yourself. Uh, you don't need to do that. You know, God's got you here. He's going to get you through it. Um, and then also just using the like pressure that comes with it, you can use it as your advantage um, in golf specifically. I feel like I focus on that a lot and I'm able to pray and work through the pressure with God and use it to help on the golf course. So, Yeah, I completely agree with that. And one thing that really helps me in those moments of like intense pressure is, you know what? My worth is in God. If I fail, like my worth is not fully in my sport. And it, and it used to be like, it used to be softball defines who I am. But now my worth is in God. And when our worth is in God, it really helps us perform better through every aspect of our lives. Yeah, I usually love competing under pressure, like especially in tennis, if there's like tie breaks, 
you know the other team is just as nervous and have just as much pressure as you do. Um, and so I love to like build off of that and just realize like, hey, they're nervous too. You know, like we're all out here like feeling the same type of way. So like, let's just go. And I'm not going to be disappointed in myself if I try my hardest. We're going to have future Yellow Jack athletes uh, coming up. Do you have any advice to them on, you know, what to do, what not to do and what to prepare for? My biggest thing would just be enjoy the moment. Uh, you're not going to be a college athlete forever. Uh, these, it's just a gift. It's a precious moment in time. Uh, it can be taken away from you like that, you know. So just enjoy the moment. Enjoy the people you're surrounding yourself with. And uh, just, you know, just enjoy uh, what God's given you in this moment and just pursue excellence in it. Uh, I suggest, like, making goals um, for your sport and for your life and for school uh, before, like, each semester. That's what I've been doing. And um, make them realistic goals, you know, be thoughtful of what your goals should be. You don't want some that are, you know, too unreachable and then too easy. So make some good goals and keep your focuses, keep your main priorities um, in the back of your mind. Well, Eterno, thank you all for joining us. Thank you for uh, joining my friends as well. Uh, I pray that they will have a good season, uh, a successful season, and um, we'll see you all soon.